back on the Horse Talk Show presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital. Thank you to Larson Farms, our broadcast sponsor, Idaho's finest alfalfa. And while we're speaking about farms, it's uh, Farm to City Week this week, so it's a great time to have my friend, Billy Van Pelt from American Farmland Trust. He's the Senior Director of External Relations here with us, and I'm thrilled to have him visiting from Kentucky. Billy, it's lovely to see you. Louisa, thank you for your hospitality. It's great to be here in sunny Ocala, Florida. I know, we have beautiful weather for you, don't we? We do, thank you. Tell us a little bit about you and your background before we talk about American Farmland Trust and then kind of switch it up to the Horse Farms Forever Summit. Let's start with a little background about Billy. Sure. I grew up on a general agriculture farm just outside of Versailles, Kentucky, which is in central Kentucky, um, Woodford County. And um, I have been working in land protection and land use for the last 25 years. I'm a graduate of the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture and I am thrilled to be here on behalf of American Farmland Trust as their Senior Director of External Relations. This is now my seventh trip to Ocala over the last few years. You must like us. I love Ocala, <laughs> the other horse capital of the world, or the <laughs> horse capital of the world, I should say. Um, it's, it's great to be here because as I was driving around in the county today, the beautiful farmland that you have here the live oaks, the moss, the scenic vistas from the road. Gorgeous. Um, it's, it's beautiful, and it's your global brand identity. Ocala is the horse capital of the world, as you said, and um, it is certainly worth protecting. Um, and as an economic development person, you know how important to retain that global brand is. So Absolutely. American Farmland Trust is a 40-year-old nonprofit organization based in Washington, D.C. The three legs to our mission are farmland protection, keeping farmers on the land, and sound farming practices. We've helped to protect about six and a half million acres over the last 40 years and another 300 million acres through conservation practices. We also have national initiatives that are focused on women who now own over a third of the farmland in the United States and next generation farmers and um, water quality and other issues such as state policy, federal policy, and of course we work on the farm bill every day. Um, we are a nonpartisan research and science organization and um, we were asked to come down here a few years ago to help um, engage in the conversation around planning for the future of agriculture and farmland protection in Marion County. Now you've obviously got a passion from a very, very early age in farming and you see obviously the importance of it, but can you tell us some of the real key things that are concerns that, that make for the last 40 years um, what uh, American Farmland Trust does so important? Sure, uh, that's a great question. Our country is losing farmland at the rate of 2,000 acres a day. And so we've lost a significant amount of farmland over the last 15 years, really. Um, we just released our Farms Under Threat uh, National uh, Research Project, which I'll be highlighting at the Conservation Summit at Golden Ocala tomorrow. That's being put on by Horse Farms Forever. We'll highlight the farmland loss across the nation, what's been lost in Florida, and uh, what's been lost in the Marion County region. In Florida, over 300,000 acres have been converted from, non, from agricultural uses to non-agricultural uses um, between 2001 and 2016. 160,000 acres of that is to urban high density development and 140 acres of that has been converted to low density residential. And so these are the, these are lots that are not agricultural, um, but they're just out there in the rural area. My gosh, that's a lot. It's a lot, and you know, um, it's, it's a win-win. Farmland protection and comprehensive planning and planning for the future of agriculture has to be a win-win where the entire community can come together and reach consensus about uh, having a way forward to protect your rural area. So in Ocala, it's part of your global calling card. 
Um, it's mm -hmm. a quality of life issue. You it's have, a culture. It's a culture. It's your culture. You have an amazing downtown, uh, but you also have an amazing rural area. Companies want to locate here. People want to move here because quality of, of life. The quality of, of life. The unique combination of your rural area, your beautiful, productive farmland, your high quality soils, along with your amazing urban resources. And so it's, a, it's an attraction, it's a business attraction um, element of your overall economic development strategy to attract businesses, to, to attract the best and brightest talent here, uh, to attract retirees, <laughs> and all those people that want to live in such a beautiful place. That's so true. And, you know, the scenery, the culture, the lifestyle, those things are all really, really important, especially somewhere like Ocala, the horse capital. But beyond that, food. Right. So there's another whole like, kind of level beyond way of life and beautiful surroundings and horse industry, of course, that's almost $3 billion in that's Marion right. County. But beyond that, there is feeding hundreds of thousands of people and so our farmers are so important for that so as that 2,000 acres a day is disappearing we're losing that that farmland to feed people mm -hmm. so that's our tagline as you know saving the land that sustains us and so farmland protection is about protecting our existing agricultural industries but also protecting farmland for whatever agriculture may transition to in the future so it's about planning for future generations and about conserving enough land to feed ourselves in the future. And it's about water quality and soil health. You know, we have a saying at AFT, it's not just about conserving acres of land, it's about cre conserving inches of soil. We have to retain those soils, our most productive soils. And Marion County has a lot of productive versatile and resilient soils we do. and I'll be talking about those at the conservation summit at Golden Ocala tomorrow That's which so you perfect. can I'm told register to attend virtually if yes. you haven't registered to attend in person and I would encourage anyone who's interested to join us tomorrow amazing so tell us how you partnered with horse farms forever we love horse farms <coughs> forever uh, tell us about that partnership sure well, first I'll say that about, oh my goodness, 15 years ago, uh, I received a phone call from Busy, Busy uh, Shires Byerly, and I had no idea who she was. And she was talking about farmland protection in Florida. And we stayed in contact over the years, and then um, she um, took this project on in a more earnest way and um, w which was the horse country protection program right and that's when we met we had several leadership roundtables mm -hmm. at the chamber and I met members of your team and uh, we engaged the community we engaged county commissioners we had a presentation to the county commission and um, and during that time Horse Farms Forever was formed by um, grassroots individuals in this community um, to drive this conversation. And so um, American Farmland Trust is a resource. Um, we're providing resources and expertise uh, to organizations like these across the country. And so Busy just happened to reach out to me and I've gotten to know several members of their staff and members of their board to provide a national perspective on this important subject. And so we're providing the research and the science, and we let communities make decisions that are best for them. Bailey, that's fantastic. Time just flew by, and I'm already getting the sign that our time is up. So um, I want to share the website with you so you can find out more about what Billy does. It is farmland.org and also, of course, horsefarmsforever.com. Either one will actually take you to the information on the summit tomorrow. And as Billy mentioned, um, for a $30 donation to the 501c3, you can join it virtually and listen in to all the plans uh, that they have and how we are indeed going to preserve our farmland. Billy, I wanna thank you so much. Thank you, Louisa. Uh, Billy Van Pelt, American Farmland Trust, dear friend of mine and a, a real asset here in the horse capital. Thank you, Billy. We'll be back on the Horse Talk Show in just a few minutes. Stay with us.